Welcome to the Man of Recaps. This is Survivor Winners at War, Episode 3. This episode hits the ground running with a big plan from Adam. Right now, Boston Rob, the Godfather, is running the Blue Tribe. Last week, the tribe was united in voting out Danny, but now Adam wants to take control away from Rob's old school alliance by getting out his closest ally, Parvati. This is the time to draw a line in the sand and target some of the big dogs in this game. But he doesn't want to blindside Rob and Ethan with this vote. He wants them to still trust him and work with him after the fact. So he tells Ethan, the tribe's going Parvati, to build that trust. But Ethan's like, yo, Parvati's my best friend out here. I'm not going to turn on her. At the Red Tribe, Tyson is feeling like he's on the bottom, wants to shift the target away from him. So he talks to Yule and Sophie, throwing Sandra's name out there like, hey, big threat, two-time winner, let's get her. Sandra, meanwhile, is setting up a fishing net situation in the shallow cove. It actually works extremely well, they catch a small shark. Baby shark a doo -doo -doo. Sandra shark a doo -doo -doo. Tony goes to grab it, but it's not dead, so it's wiggling trying to bite him as they get it back to land. With Tony around, there's always some shenanigans. Now that Sandra supplied the tribe with a glorious shark brunch, Yules doesn't want to get rid of her, so you will tell Sandra that Tyson's gunning for her, and if you're coming at the queen, you best not miss. Don't come after me. If you come after me, I better not find out about it. Now at the edge of extinction. The three girls voted out so far each get a little clue. It's a picture of a white tree with no leaves. They go up there to find a combination lockbox. It says you already have been given everything you need to know the combination, but they have no idea. They all explore the island looking for numbers, but it's Natalie who figures out that the messages came with seashells in numbered patterns. She hides one and destroys the other to make sure the other girls don't figure it out. Then she goes on up there and opens the lock. Three for three extinction advantage is gone to Natalie. This advantage is much less of a must buy than the others. It's only a clue to where a steal a vote is hidden at the other tribe's camp. Natalie figures she better try to sell this one to someone who's in for taking big risks. She picks Sarah, who famously used a steal a vote to great effect the season she won. So Sarah's down for it, spends her fired token. Now Natalie's got three. So I'm actually a billionaire on extinction. She wants some backup though, so she tells her Cops R Us partner Tony about it. He helps her gear up for a stealth mission by putting ash all over her forehead. Then she's boated over to the other tribe's camp and allowed to try to sneak her way in. Turns out the camouflage is totally pointless, like if anyone wakes up, she's clearly standing right there. The steal of oats been hidden inside one of their torches and she manages to grab it. Now it's time for the immunity challenge. Playing not just for immunity, but also kebabs. This is a tough one, starts out out with some ninja warrior jumping through platforms. Then you gotta dig up a ladder, use it to get a thing. Luckily, Tony is a ladder master now. Then you gotta throw the ball and hook it so you can climb up. Wendell gets it almost immediately, but the blue team's struggling. Eventually he gets it though when everyone climbs up. Now it's time for a very difficult tree puzzle. Sophie and Sarah had a pretty big head start, but Rob and Michelle catch up quick. It comes down to the final piece, but Red Tribe gets it first. Sending the Blue Tribe to their third tribal council in a row. Most of the tribe is down for Adam's earlier plan of voting out Parvati. Nice and easy vote break up the old schoolers, we're done here. But Adam still thinks he can do it while keeping Ethan and Rob on his side. So he tells Boston Rob about it. Telling people truths has backfired on a lot of people who have played this game, but I think it will work. Adam seems to think he can be the godfather now and tell Rob he doesn't really have a choice. I'm thinking, is this kid crazy? But Rob's not betraying Parvati right now. He tells her immediately. I'm ready to pound on Adam, devour that guy, and just spit out his bones on Edge of Extinction. Then Rob goes to Jeremy and Michelle, tells them that Adam spilled the beans on their big secret plan. He's like, yo, Adam's trying to play both sides right now. We should all vote him out. Jeremy and Michelle have been playing quiet games so far, staying under the radar, but now they find themselves with the power. They still want to weaken Rob's alliance, but no longer want to do what Adam told them to. So Michelle shifts the target from Parvati to Ethan. It seems kind of weird. Like, if you want to weaken Boston Rob, maybe just vote Boston Rob? But anyway, Michelle steps into the spotlight here and rallies the rest of the tribe. So at Tribal Council, Adam's the only one who votes for Parvati. The three old schoolers vote for Adam. But the rest of the unaffiliateds all go with Michelle and Jeremy's plan. They vote out Ethan. No, Ethan, such a nice guy, headed off to the edge of extinction and gives his fire token to his friend Parvati. And that's how episode three comes to an end. If you like this recap, hit that subscribe button. I'm bringing you the best recaps of TV and movies, so don't miss out.